Hey what's up guys, Matt here with my top hidden features of iOS 8. Now if you want to see a hands-on demo of iOS 8, there's a ton of those already and I'll leave some really good ones in the description. But this time we're just going to go over some of the stuff that Apple didn't talk about. First off, in the camera app there are now two new features. First is a timer for taking photos. You can set the timer for 3 or 10 seconds and after that duration the camera will burst a set of photos and choose the best one. The next thing is that there is a new time-lapse feature in the camera. This takes the time-lapse video which makes everything look much faster so it can give you some pretty cool effects, especially if you're taking pictures of landscapes or nature or anything that you just want to be really fast. Another feature is that there is detailed battery reports based on apps. This is something that has been present in Android for a while, but it is nice to have an iOS and you will be able to see which apps are taking up the most battery so that you can address that accordingly. In the settings app under messages, you can now set your messages to delete after a certain amount of time. Messages are probably the number one thing taking up space in most people's phones, so the ability to have them delete automatically is great so you don't have wasted space. In the weather app, not much has changed, but now the information is provided by weather.com and you can now see the forecast for many more days than you could before and all the detailed information is located at the bottom. iOS 8 features quick reply for messages, which is something that many have wanted for years. The default view uses the banner drop down menu to compose messages, but there is a different way. If you go into your notification settings and choose the alert mode, you will get a different look to the way Quick Reply works, and it is pretty reminiscent to the way it looks for many jailbreak tweaks. Whether or not you like it is up to you. Siri is also more powerful now. When plugged into a power outlet, you can now speak to Siri hands-free just by saying, Hey Siri. Siri can now identify songs using Shazam, which should be much faster than finding the app. So those are some hidden features of iOS 8. This version of iOS seems to bring some pretty good features that will make the OS a lot better to use and many of the developer features will do the same. iOS 8 is in beta and if you want to try it out right now without buying a developer account you can check out my video explaining how to do so. If you have any other hidden features that you have found in iOS 8 make sure you guys leave those in the comments below and if you have any questions leave them there as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and if you want to see when my new videos are uploaded hit subscribe. Like I said my name is Matt and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!